Espesyal at naging malaman ang naging episode ng The Deep Probe na ibrinodcast live mula mismo sa SMNI Worldwide Broadcast Studio sa Davao City kung saan moderator ang SMNI host na si Ka Eric Celis. At panelists naman sina Attorney Harry Rocket, isang international law expert at pulso ng Bayan Program host, kasama ang kapwa program host na si Dr. Lorraine Badoy na dating NTF LCAC spokesperson, at si Pastor Apollo C. Kibuloy, ang executive pastor ng The Kingdom of Jesus Christ. Tinalakay ng programang The Deep Probe ng SMNI ang naging talumpati ni Democrat U.S. Presidential Candidate Robert Kennedy Jr. kung saan nilalaman nito ang isa rin sa pinakamagandang talumpati ni U.S. President John F. Kennedy na tinawag na Peace Speech. Hihimay-himay natin na uh, speech po ni uh, uh, U.S. Uh, Democratic Presidential Candidate. Ginawa niya noong June 24. 2023. Napakaganda po ng kanyang uh, speech na ito ay uh, hinango sa speech ng kanyang uncle na ang tawag ay the speech uh, the, that was called the peace, peace speech, speech. Dong uh, ginawa ito ni uh, uh, late President uh, John F. Kennedy. You know, when I heard the speech of uh, Robert Kennedy Jr., Although he was addressing the American nation as a potential candidate for the presidency, it was as if he was also talking to Filipinos. It is because Americans have told us that in our part of the world, war is inevitable, and this has reference to China. It is as if we have no other choice but to go to war. But what was clear from what uh, Robert Kennedy said is that war is inevitable only when we make it inevitable. I, my wish no, is that buong, buong, buong sa anin lahing, what do you call that, buong mundo basahin itong speech na ito. Napakaganda, very timely. And in fact, this speech of Robert Kennedy, ang nire-reference niya dyan is a speech that was made 60 years ago by, by JFK, no, John Fitzgerald uh, Kennedy, the president then. No? And... 60 years, everything that he said has come to pass. No? And it was about the, what, what Attorney Rocky was saying, Spokes was saying, the, uh, yung pag-call ng shots ng America and how America has made the world a very dangerous place. And, for, and what is our moral obligation? Diba? Lahat tayo magsasalita. Hindi tayo papayag na yung Pax Americana. Tapos na yon. Kabilang sa naging laman ng diskusyon ay ang demoralisasyon ng Amerika sa sarili nitong bansa. Samantala, hangad naman ni Pastor Apollo ang katagumpayan ni Robert Kennedy Jr. sa kanyang karera. Yung sinabi din ni uh, Robert Kennedy, uh, it, he is listening right now, maybe on Facebook. Uh, I respect you so much. I love you so much. When I was, uh, I become emotional. When I'm listening to your speech, When I listen to your speech on YouTube and Facebook, I have tears on my eyes because this is what I want America to be, like what you said here, like your uncle. I appreciate you for your perspective and your uncle who died and your father who also was assassinated. And I hope that you continue this legacy sa kabilang banda, masaya naman ang mga panelists sa naging takbo ng diskusyon kung saan nahimay-himay nila ang foreign policy stand ni Kennedy para sa Amerika na mahalaga ring malaman ng mga Pilipino dahil maging tayo ay apektado nito. Malaki rin ang kanilang pasasalamat kay Pastor Apollo sa pagbibigay ng pagkakataon at oras na matalakay ang nasabing usapin. At tingin ko ang mensahe na dapat mainidih ng mga Pilipino ay unang-una, ano bang magiging pakinabang natin kung tayo po ay uh, makipagera? Malinaw na ang pulisi ng Amerika na nakikipagera ay dahil nakasalalay ang kanyang ekonomiya doon sa mga gumagawa ng bomba. Pero hindi naman tayo gumagawa ng bomba. No? So ang kinakailangan natin pulisiya ay magbibigay ng kapayapaan. Of course, I'm uh, greatly honored na kasama si Pastor Kibloy. Salamat po, Pastor, sa iyong ministeryo na itaguyod ng katotohanan at ang katotohanan ngayong gabi. Hindi po sa ayon sa interes ng mga Pilipino na mamatay sa interes ng mga dayuhan. Yung katulad sa speech ni Robert Kennedy, dapat alam ito ng bawat uh, every man, woman, child. They should know about this. And we should, we should all close ranks. 
kasi what we're talking about now is the is the survival of the human race, di ba? And that we've been pushed to the brink of of extinction by this by this warmonger country, this bully, this America. But your life takes you where it takes you, and it has taken me to SMNI. Then and the role that SMNI plays is how can I say it? I mean, it's really the the voice in the wilderness, di ba? And napakahalaga ng bosses na ito. And I feel I really feel so grateful that Pastor has entrusted us, no? has entrusted me with these very sacred sacred obligations to the Filipino people, no? the, yung pagwasak ng komunistang terorista sa, sa Pilipinas. At ngayon naman ito din. No? So, na yung pinag-uusapan na natin ay sanlibutan, di ba? So, ang ganda-ganda ng role ng SMNI, napakahalaga at to find to find people who are like-minded is such a blessing to me. I think ang Deep Probe is an instrument of deeper discussion doon sa mga balita at mga usapin na sumusulpot at kailangang mabigyan ng analysis ang taong bayan for that uh, ang mga mamamayan mismo kapag buo ng informed decision in a collective consciousness. Yung buo nilang pagtingin batay sa mga informasyon at analysis na nasishare sa programa ng Deep Probe. Napaganda ng layunin na yan na binuo ni Pastor and we're very happy to be part of Deep Probe. Seeing Pastor from my side as our leader, na-inspire kami to go on because Pastor is uh, insurmountable ang kanyang uh, courage. Uh, Hindi mo malalagpasan yung tapang niya, panindigan, to stand for truth and to lead the way para po sa aming mga naglilingkod through SMNI. May mensahe rin ipinaabot ang butihing pastor sa napakagandang diskusyon ng ikalawang episode ng The Deep Probe. SMNI is dedicated for true information and enlightening information, and information that uh, gives the world a perspective of peace and love. It's about uh, the uh, why, uh, the attitude of this nations in the West are so, and what is the cause and effect of it. That not only concerns them, but concerns the whole world. So if there is peace, it should be inclusive. It should not be exclusive, like what the Roman Empire, they want the peace for them only to be exclusive. So they devastated all the tribes around them. And it came back to them in the end, because what goes around comes around, or what comes around goes around, you know. So what you saw is what you what you reap. So uh, that is the the gist of the discussion that we have. Robert Kennedy Jr. Uh, made a speech that is uh, timeless, quoting from his uncle John F. Kennedy. Samantala, bukas rin si Pastor Apollo nagawing regular ang programang The Deep Probe. From time to time, as the issues come up and it concerns our, uh, our uh, security and our uh, interest. Not, not only national, but uh, maybe we can help internationally you know, to enlighten the people. Matatanda ang unang lumabas ang The Deep Probe sa SMNI nitong 2022 sa kasagsaga ng presidential elections kung saan binusisi nito ang mga kandidato para sa pinakamataas na posisyon sa bansa kabilang na ang kasalukuyang pangulo na si President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. Para sa Diyos at sa Pilipinas kong mahal, Loren Santos, SMNI News.